Now, if you don't know what Kung Fury is, it is the short film slash movie, I guess, the half hour movie. Yeah. Is that so it just, is just a trailer. Just a trailer, and then got kickstarted and made about six hundred sixty thousand dollars. If it had made a million, they would have made it into a feature length, but uh, it didn't quite hit there. And you can definitely see where they could have made this feature length and where they had well, to, to cut. They, there's a sequel coming for sure. Yes. Yes. But we'll Most get into likely. that. Um, so this was the Kickstarter movie, and it uh, and it showed up on YouTube about two weeks ago. So if you're not one of the pretty much 16 million people, uh, when I checked this, when I watched it, um, have watched it so far. If you're not one of the 16 million people, we're going to give you a review of Kung Fury. And, and that to put that in perspective, what, Mad Max, which is one of the, the biggest movies in, in some time, uh, what, it has 17 million domestic sales and it's been out longer? Just saying. That's all Mad Max has, or is that just this week? That's since it came. That's domestic sales. It has more world sales, but I want to say it made impressive. like fifty million the first week. It made lots more million, but it has seventeen. Uh, it estimated seventeen million. Tickets. Million people have bought tickets. Okay, yeah. I understand. I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. No, no, it's it's, it's yeah. gross, like over three hundred million. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Got it. But um, but yeah. So Kung Fury stars. Uh, well, he it was actually written, directed. And stars the same person, and his name is David Sandberg. Uh, he, this is his baby. This is what he started. He uh, kickstarted the the crowdfunding and everything, and it, it features a cop who he is hit by lightning and bit by a cobra at the same time, and he inherits a special force called the Kung Fury. It makes him a legendary warrior, and it takes place in 1985. Is it Miami or New York? It feels like Miami. I th- yeah, it I think feels it was like Miami. Miami. And well, I'm not is, sure if they were explicit, but it seemed like Miami. But. It is the most off the wall, crazy, like fun movie that I've seen in a long time. Usually, I don't really like these movies that go for being bad on purpose, but this one is like so incredibly bad on purpose that it's so incredibly genius in real life. And, and by bad, it means it's, it's like just so over the top, purposefully over the top. It's yeah. such a ridiculous fashion. Yeah, it's like an '80s action cop comedy slash. I don't know if you can call it a grindhouse, but it's almost like a grindhouse because it's cheesy like that. Yeah. But it just, and it's trying to go for all these like over the top crazy '80s ideas and then blow them even more out of proportion. Yes, and it hits every single note <laughs> like perfectly. Like I'm not a person who laughs out loud when I watch stuff. I mu- I really enjoy some things and I can sit there and watch them and I won't laugh out loud. I really don't. I, I sometimes when you see me watching a TV show or a movie, you're like, man, he must hate this. He's not really showing any reaction. I I just don't. I was laughing out loud when I was watching this, and this is not my type of comedy in general. But it was just so just mind blowing that it, it just it, I had to. I was cracking up laughing like half the time watching this movie. That it, and that's like 20 minutes. I was laughing for like 20 straight minutes. And it's just so crazy. So it stars the action cop. Um, and I, I just, this is a review, but it's also just a, like almost a blow by blow. The first fight scene between the arcade machine that likes to flick everybody off and shoot lasers at people and him was just great. Now, it, it's supposed to be like it's you're watching it on a VHS because like tracking comes through and like, like it messes up and it skips parts. But it just kind of reminded me of uh, the family guy when Peter fights the chicken. You know, and they're just going all over the place. And it's just, oh, man, it's just so awesome. It was just really awesome. And yeah, so, that's another one where you kind of wonder, was that entirely, I mean, it's on purpose that they do it, but would that have been an extended fight scene if they had gone full length? Or I, would I they almost, keep the this way because it's it's funny this way? Because yeah, like they I do it in they Grindhouse. Kept it this way. I almost hope yeah. they would have kept it this way just yeah. because of how it worked so well. If they had extended it out too much, it might not. I don't know. It could have seemed yeah. more hilarious. I mean, Who knows? I think because um, Grindhouse had a similar thing where it was like uh, in the middle of a uh, planet terror. It's like, oh, sorry, the management lost some footage, something like that, right? Yeah. And I think they did it maybe a little bit better, but this was still like it was effective. It was definitely effective for for being able to still show like a long a bunch of like the cool parts of a uh-huh. long fight scene without having to show the entire fight scene. And normally when we do our reviews, 
I'd review like, oh, was the acting good? Was the characters good? Was the soundtrack good? By the way, the soundtrack was awesome. It fit the movie absolutely perfectly. Couldn't yeah. fit it any better. <laughs> um, were the villains good? And done by David Hasselhoff. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is true, too. The he, main theme the anyway was in David Hasselhoff. Uh, he and plays who would the think? car. Can't do that. I can't do that, Kung Fury. Yep. I can't do Hoff that. 9000. <laughs> Don't hassle the Hoff 9000. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's just so many great one-liners. Uh, this movie kind of reminded me of another movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's it's pretty funny. I almost think it was a little too long, but it was really funny in general. Uh, Black Dynamite. It's another one of these just over the top. We're gonna be crazy. We're gonna you know do this action stuff, and it was it's in the same vein as that. I almost think this one was funnier uh, than Black Dynamite, even though that was very good. That that's where you get the line. Uh, this is some of his kung fu treachery. Um, from Black <laughs> Black Dynamite. If that doesn't sh- sell you on a movie, that one line, I don't know what will. Yeah. But Kung Fury, it just oh my gosh, it just blends so many things. When Hitler shoots through the phone somehow, which by the way, Hitler is the main bad guy. Of oh, course, yeah, Hitler is that's the main what I, and he's yeah. a kung fu bastard. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and kung it's funny like, when when the, yeah he is the kung Fuhrer. and and when they're talking about Hitler. Like, oh, you may not know about Hitler, but he was this guy back in. The- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they keep acting like no one, like, this is some rare secret knowledge about Hitler, the Nazis, yeah. the symbols <laughs> of the Nazis. Yeah. The, like, oh, where have I seen this symbol before? <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, man. And then, and then Hitler somehow time travels and comes to the 80s. And so he has to go back in time to kill Hitler. But then somehow he goes back too far. Into the age of the laser raptors. Oh, where the Vikings are, in the Viking age? The Viking where age there's dinosaurs laser raptors. Oh, and, and, guns. Guns. And, and, like... and and Thor comes and he's giant and he just just shows up sometimes when you call him. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it just, it's just too... an all around good movie. And there was there was one thing mm-hmm. that I was like, oh, they introduced a character, Triceracop. And I was like, oh, they're not doing anything with him. And then uh, there he is again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, th- that was something I was thinking too. I was like, man, they cut, they actually show him in the opening as like a lead person. <laughs> yeah. And then they do yeah. nearly nothing with it. And at that point, I was actually kind of thinking, you know, this would also work uh, drawn out a bit as a TV show, like an episodic thing where you would see more like this would be like the setup. And then you see more like Kung Fury at the Triceracop. <laughs> yeah, around. the cop. <laughs> Well, doing whatever he, the, he is the, the best tacity. partner he's ever had. I love you, man. <laughs> like, you're the greatest partner. I've After ever like had. you haven't seen him the whole time, but the other guy was supposed to be like partner. a father to him. Yeah. <laughs> the movie is just so over the top and absurd, and it takes all your favorite cliches from some of these '80s movies and just throws them in there in the most absurd way. Yeah. So it's it's hard to review this like we traditionally review it. All I gotta say is if you have an internet connection or if you have a smartphone and you have a half hour and you want to fill that half hour with fun and excitement and action packedness that will keep you laughing and just entertained the whole way through, you need to watch yeah. Kung Fu. Yeah, and I would say that there was a few points that I almost thought things were going to start getting stale or drawn out, but then they just throw something even more ridiculous from completely something not related <laughs> into the mix at just the right time to say, okay, now, now I'm still interested for a little bit longer here. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if there is one criticism I would give, it's that if you've seen the trailer, pretty much the movie follows the format of scenes from the trailer. So you've probably seen parts of all the big, cool parts. Like, there's not a whole lot of, of extra scenes. It's just, like, extending all the scenes. So that would be one criticism, that there's not a, enough extra uh, uh, over the trailer. But... I think again that's because well, when that the, next Kickstarter comes out, and inevitably the next Kickstarter will come out to do this again. Let's all help it reach its goal to make it a feature length, <laughs> so that we can actually have the brand new scenes and everything like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I mean, I give this this five out of five. Yeah, it accomplished what it set out to do very well. Oh, it was amazing! It was amazing, and 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 let's and a kick for Kickstarter too. It's not. Let me t- awesome. let me also say this: that if you watch the show, you know I don't usually get into stuff like that. That is not my that is not my cup of tea. I I don't usually get into the the cheesy so bad it's good stuff, but this just hit every note perfectly. So if you like, I said if you want to just be entertained, 
watch Kung Fury. It's amazing. You got to check it out. You can find it on YouTube. I think the name of the the YouTube channel is Laser Unicorns or something yep. like that. So, <laughs> which if you look, there's little Easter eggs of like Laser Unicorns throughout. I think the the arcade machine is called yeah, it was Laser, a laser Unicorn. Unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, check it out. That's uh, the other thing. This game, this movie needs to be made into a game now too. Just I would, just saying. I would, I would play this movie game. I would. I really would. So if you haven't seen if you have seen it, let us know what you think. Hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, at Words for My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Don't forget about wordsformyface.com.